Nations Alliance Inner Yard, Child. I'm not hallucinating right. My second daughter, her muscles were born with the lack of strength, so she couldn't move from the day she was born, suffering from all kinds of sickness and torture. I've hired all kinds of physicians from around the world, but none of them has a solution to it. I thought this time will only be another useless attempt. I never would have thought that she would recover, but even if she were to recover, shouldn't she be recovering slowly, like starting from moving her fingers, then walking on the ground? How? She just recovered, and she already can jump and crack stones with a punch. Child, are you, okay? Father, I think I'm fully recovered. See? And, I can feel an infinite amount of strength throughout my body. Guild leader Meng, which kingdom provided the cure, I want to thank them personally. Yes, a small kingdom far away, right within the area of the Shenyuan kingdom. Father, you don't have to thank them personally, now that I have recovered, I want to head out as well. I want to thank this person who saved me as well. Alright. Then I'll be leaving now. Hold on, at least change your clothes first. Guild leader Lu, hold on, I heard that Master Jiang from the Herbalist Guild likes to collect some rare herbs as well, maybe you can get the rest from him. Master Jiang, alright. But, if I were to head to the Herbalist Guild and find Jiang Shu directly, I might get exposed with so many elites looking at me. I'll meet up with Lu Ling and the others first, let Jiang Shu come and meet me. Kingdom Tianwu Zhang Xian's temporary home. Sir, you came. Sir, I heard from Master Zhang that you were coming as well. I thought I wouldn't be seeing you in a short while, but I never thought you would be here so early. Teacher. Sir. I really missed you. Alright, enough, I know. Where's Zhang Xuan's students? They. Master Lu, this is bad. Zhao Ya was injured, please heal her. What happened? She was injured by an evil woman, please heal her Master Lu. Quick, put her down, let me see. What's going on, I just left not long ago. Seems like it's only her aura that got shocked, it's not serious. Just rest for half a month will be fine. Half a month. That won't do. The competition is in three days. Please hold on. Come and meet your principal, Master Yang. Principal. Master Yang. Student Zhaoya. Zheng Yang. Wang Ying. Lu Yang. Yuan Tao. Pleasure to meet you. Alright, good get up now. I'll let them greet me a few more times. Why don't you tell me what's going on? To answer your question. We were strolling outside, then we bumped into a woman running her mouth, insulting our teacher in public. Zhao Ya couldn't stand it, so she decided to punish her, who knew that woman is quite strong, and she injured her. Insulting your teacher. Not bad, students protecting the reputation of the teacher, well done. Well done. But, getting injured when you're the one decided to punish others, that's quite embarrassing. Actually. Zhao Ya is trained quite well, it's just the opponent's combat skills are too strong. Combat skills. That's true, Wang Ying was taught with the heavenly kick and arts, Zheng Yang with the heavenly weapon skills, Lu Yang with the heavenly fists. Yuan Tao and Zhao Ya both have their physique awakened, but they were never taught any combat skills, no wonder it will be tough for them to fight others. Here, let me have a look at your wounds. This is. The principle is as strong as from the legends, with a simple move. Not only that my wounds were recovered, my training got agitated as well, made me want to overcome my limit. The wounds on Zhao Ya, they're because of excessive use of strength, hence being devoured, her organs displaced and her aura dispersed. Even if there's nothing wrong with her, you need at least 10 to 15 days to recover. But you can actually use aura to forcibly heal them. Luckily the wounds ain't that serious. I can just use the heavenly aura to heal them. Thank you principal for healing Zhao Ya. I got healed with just a few simple tricks. The principal is really impressive. What do you mean by the competition three days later? I see. Then, since your teacher is taking the two-star physician test, he won't be back in a short while. I will teach you some combat skills for him, do you want to learn? I do. 
since you've been using a sword from a young age, I'll teach you some sword skills. Even though I've seen plenty of combat skills that use a sword, they're quite difficult. I'm afraid it will be tough for them to master it if I were to teach them. I'll consider if I should teach them after I've given them a few tries. But, my sword skills will be a little intense. You just recovered from your injuries. We'll skip the training for today. Get some rest for today. I'll teach you tomorrow. All right, you all can leave first. Yes. Su and Xiang, go and have Jiang Xu to come over. Just say that I want to meet him. Yes. Jiang Xu here to meet the teacher. I need two types of herbs, the golden leaf tinder and the nine bugs flower. I just happen to have golden leaf tinder and nine bugs flower with me here. I won't take it for free. How much for these two herbs? I'll have Suanxiang give it to you later. The teacher has been helping the students in every way. These two herbs will be an act of gratitude to you. I accept students through fate and destiny. Do you think I can just take it for free just because of that? Just tell me how much and I'll give you the money. These two herbs, I got them from the Medicine King, and they're both over a century old. If you were to buy them, they will cost a total of 20 million golds. 20 million golds. Damn, I myself don't even worth this much. I thought I can be generous and just buy these two herbs. I never would have imagined. These two herbs are even more expensive than the ones that I bought combined. What kind of herbs are these? I wanted to get a student, quickly improve my strength, gain some trust from them, but I never would have thought that this would just make me go bankrupt. Money isn't a necessity. As a physician, always thinking about money, it's not good for your health. I don't want it, but you insisted. Now that I've told you the price, and you're telling me thinking about money is not good for my health. Then what should I do? How about this? You go and have some rest. I'll find some time to guide you to ascend. Just think of it as repaying you for those two herbs. Guide me to ascend. Thank you teacher. Alright, I still have something else to attend to. You can leave now. Yes. Su and Xiang, go and tell Zhao Ya and the others. I need to head out to attend to something. I will come here again tomorrow. Yes, sir. Inside the Tianwu school. I got all of Lu Chong's medicine as well. I will have to head back and give it to him. Teacher Yang. Teacher Yang, it's good that you're back. Please help the senior. She, she's injured. Mu Xueqing got injured as well. Zhao Ya got injured after I left for just a moment. Now it's my Xueqing. Why can't these students just give me a break? As expected, I didn't see anything. Dealing with patients, I guess I can't just diagnose through the pulse. I guess I can only do it the old way. Try using your aura for a bit. Yes. Luckily this kid just injured her nerves from forcibly using combat skills that were beyond her limit. It's not a serious problem. This wound, I'll just use the old way. The wounds are disappearing. Recovering. When I was watching my father dealing with the hidden wounds from injuries. The difficulty of removing the wounds from forcibly using combat skills. If this goes wrong. It will cause the patient to lose their training. But why does it became so easy when teacher Lu is the one doing it? Thank you for healing me teacher, sorry for causing you trouble. Nothing, but why did you get hurt all of a sudden? Senior was. It was just me forcing myself to use combat skills, but my training wasn't enough so. Thank you for worrying teacher. That's fine then. If there's nothing else, have Lu Kong come in, both of you can go now. Teacher. I was hoping whether teacher can teach me some combat skills. Combat skills. What do you want to learn? I'm good with daggers ever since I was young. I wonder if teacher can teach me some daggers skills. Daggers skills. Girls like to use swords because it's light and agile, and it's quite beautiful and charming as well. But this child likes to use a daggers. That's quite surprising. Just head back for today. I'll consider about it. Then I'll teach you about it tomorrow. Go and get Lu Kong to meet me first. Yes. Senior, why don't you let me say it? Say it, how do you want to say it? Tell him that I was injured because I was fighting with Master Zhang's student. If we really tell him that, I'm afraid teacher Lu will be dragging us to go and apologize. This. I don't mind apologizing. I think that teacher Lu is on the same level as that Master Zhang. 
maybe better than him even. But why does both of their reputation have such a huge difference? I have to defeat that guy, then make a name for Teacher Lu. Alright, we can never let Teacher Lu know about this. Whoever says it, I will punish them for sure. Yeah, hold on, we will not tell for sure, but what if Lu Kong? Lu Kong, he's dumb, he can't even speak for his own matters, do you think he will tell about it? That's true. Teacher, what did you say? You want me to? To take off my clothes. Practicing toxic body is extremely difficult, plus you will need to master the skills that I taught you. You're still not quite there yet, so I can only help you with it. So this is what he means by taking off the clothes. Yes. Students nowadays, are they all this mature at such a young age? What kind of stuff are they thinking? What are you planning to do? No, what are you doing? I thought I should take everything off. Not the underwear as well. Yes. Right now, if you can't take it, you're dead. If you can, you'll be able to improve tremendously, taking a huge leap from your current self. I understand, teacher. Luchong's potential is average. With his training speed, mastering the simplified version of the heavenly golden physique will need at least one to two days. Then we'll be starting now. At least three to four days if he were to consolidate it as well. I already promised him that I will help him get his revenge within 10 days, but the heavenly skills had already spent a huge amount of time. The toxic body will of course be difficult to complete. To speed up the progress, I can only force his aura to circulate in order to improve his strength. Being able to kneel outside for seven days straight just to be accepted, in order to stop himself from saying the wrong things, he pretends to be unable to speak for two years. This dedication, Zhao Ya and the others might not be able to compete against this. Vital Break Realm I actually reached the Vital Break Realm. Don't move, we're not done yet. Luckily these herbs ain't that hard to fuse. Is that the medicine that the teacher mentioned to practice the toxic body? The real pain starts here. Hold it for me. Father, mother, sister, brother. No, I can't faint just yet. I must hold on. If I were to waste all the things that the teacher has done for me, how will I be able to face my parents? Father, mother, sister, brother, all 137 people in the family. For all of you. I thought he would faint instantly. I never thought he used the will he has been training for more than two years and survived it. This willpower is really beyond my imagination. If this goes on, he's surely able to train the toxic body, along with his strength greatly improved. This incredibly poisonous medicine will last for one night. The entire night will be this painful, so try to stay alive. You will realize that everything you worked for will be worth it. Whether he can survive, it will be up to him. I will have to teach Zhao Ya and Mu Xueqing sword skills and blade skills. Let me find a place to practice for a bit. Luckily I have collected enough skills from the library of Tianwu school. Let me see if I can make it into the heavenly sword skill. Correct. Sword, it's a white pawn of a person. It's quick and agile. Like a snake. Like a charm. As expected from a combination of high-level combat skills, it's much stronger than the heavenly fist and heavenly weapon skills from before. Let's try the dagger's skill. I think I'll simplify these two skills first before teaching them to Zhao Ya and Mu Xueqing. Just in case they cause any trouble. Now that no one is here I better leave this place. Just in case someone finds me and wants me to pay for it. There should be no one here. I'll have a look at the Grandmaster Realm techniques that I collected at Tianwu Academy. Compile. It actually compiled a perfect Grandmaster Realm Heaven's Path Divine Art. I'll just break through then. Gather. This is the convergence of spiritual energy. I see. The first seven cultivation realms don't require much spiritual energy. In the acupoint opening realm, one only has to open up one's acupoints to raise one's strength. The profound connection realm is only the opening of meridians and the cauldron strength realm is the cultivation of the physical body. 
Grandmaster Realm actually stores the true qi, accumulating spiritual energy. But the Dantian of the Grandmaster Realm is just like a pond. Imagine the spiritual energy as a water flow. If you want to fill it, it will never be enough with the natural spiritual energy around here. If I were to cultivate like this, it will take at least three to five months before I reach the Grandmaster Realm pinnacle. Forget it, I'll just go to the Alchemist Guild and have a look tomorrow. See if I can find any pills harnessing spiritual energy. With the help of such pills, I should be able to cultivate faster. Chinger, you're back. I've good news for you. Chinger, you can be saved. Saved. You have been consuming pills since young to increase the speed of your cultivation, which caused a huge amount of pill poison to accumulate within your body, affecting your progress in the future. I only managed to notice this problem last year, and by then, it was already too late. In order to solve your trauma, I visited the physician guild and consulted them on your problem. However, none of them had a feasible solution for your problem. Even guild leader Mu Hong was helpless before this matter, and he even labeled it as a difficult disease. I thought your situation would be a tough one to be cured, but I never expected. A really incredible physician showed up today, provided perfect solutions to all the difficult diseases on the wall of dilemma in one go. In other words, the pill poison in your body can be cured. Pill poison. But this pill poison, Teacher Lu helped me get rid of it as well when he was healing me today. Father, actually, you don't even know, this new guild leader, what a genius. The physician guild's wall of dilemma, he actually cleared all of it, solving all 19 difficult diseases simultaneously and achieving a perfect grade for each of them. The last one. It's one that even four and five star physicians couldn't confirm the result. That's right, I heard that. This new guild leader Lu, he's a teacher at your academy. Help me look into it tomorrow. I need to get prepared, so that I can go and meet him to get your cure for you. He couldn't be Lu Cheng, right? That's right, he's Lu Cheng. Do you know this teacher? I will go and visit him tomorrow. Ask him to help you solve the pill poison in your body. No need for that. He has already helped me cure the pill poison in my body. Already cured you? Yes. Why, would he help you? Because, he's, my teacher. Your teacher. Second day. Teacher. Get up. I never expected this body to be this good. How do you feel? I. I feel like I'm still at the acupoint opening realm primary stage. My cultivation didn't rise. Your cultivation didn't rise. Let's go. There's a strength test pillar in the backyard. You can have a go there. Yes. I've been keeping an eye when the poison weakened. It's still the same as last night. Still in the acupoint opening realm primary stage. My strength didn't even improve. If I didn't trust the teacher that is standing right before me right now, I would be wondering that the suffering that I endured last night is all but a waste. No matter what, I'll trust my teacher this one time. Since only the teacher can help me right now. 44 Ding. Acupoint Opening Realm Pinnacle. How is this possible? For a normal Acupoint Opening Realm Cultivator, opening an Acupoint increases the power of 1 Ding. 44 Ding is equivalent to opening 40 Acupoints. But, I only opened 1 Acupoint, and it's during the time I broke through last night. How can I have this much strength? What you have improved is your physical strength, not your cultivation. When your physical strength reaches a certain level, it can also be comparable to the strongest of true qi. They say that some powerful poison masters can still tear apart a grandmaster without using true qi. I. I had some doubts when the teacher said he would help me get my revenge in 10 days, but now I know, it's real. Thank you teacher. Remember, you are Lu Cheng's student, my student, even if your enemy is the emperor of Tianwu kingdom, as long as he is at fault. I will still help you no matter what. Teacher. Ever since my parents were killed, the feeling of relying on others, I have forgotten about it, I never would have expected to feel it once again from Teacher Lu. So, can you tell me about your matter now? The Lu family, in Tianwu City, wasn't a prestigious clan, but we were a strong clan. Ever since I was young, I didn't have much potential, the one shining the brightest was my sister. She passed as a formation mage at the age of 17, which then became a legend. But this also became the beginning of the disaster. 
She's talented and beautiful, hence a dandy disciple got his eyes on her. After that, she got angry because of love, which turns into a tragedy. All 137 people in my family got slaughtered in one night. I was able to escape from it because I wasn't at home that night. Your family, they're from Tianmu Kingdom. Yes, I was too weak, so I knew I wouldn't be able to get away, so I sneaked into the academy, kept a low profile and refused to talk to people. Of course, others didn't think I was a bother, so I was able to survive until today. The most dangerous place is the safest place, maybe they didn't think that you're hiding right in front of them. It's just that, a family of 137 getting slaughtered, this should have been huge news and the authorities or the kingdom didn't do anything about it. I don't even know what exactly happened as well. I just know that everyone was dead, and I'm the only one alive. I didn't dare to look into it as well. I'm afraid that I would expose myself. This is absurd. The trainer guild has a huge authority. Not only they cultivate new trainers, teaching students, they also have to maintain order. An incident this big with an entire family getting slaughtered, this will definitely have caused chaos and they didn't send someone to look into it. Also, even if the trainer guild didn't step in, the Tianwu kingdom themselves are also eating shit. People can just commit murder in the kingdom, even destroying an entire family. Don't think about other stuff, focus on your training. The methods that I taught you yesterday, if you are able to withstand it for five times, you will be able to see the result. I still have some business to attend to, so you can just rest for now, refresh yourself and get some rest. We'll proceed to the second time tonight. Yes. An incident such as slaughtering an entire family, and the Tianwu kingdom didn't take any action. It's either his enemy is really strong, or he's really high in authority. And the most important part is, if it's just because of love, he can just kill his sister, how can he just slaughter the entire family? I'm afraid that whatever happened in between ain't that simple. Teacher, it's not that I don't want to tell you, it's just that, I don't dare to. It's fine if he doesn't want to tell me, I'll ask about the details when he wants to talk about it. Teacher Lu, I already owe you a huge favor when you helped me improve my strength, I don't know how to repay it, so I really don't want you to get involved in this. You're still a normal teacher in the academy after all. If someone were to find out that you took me as your student, you will be in deep trouble for sure. My revenge. I will handle it myself. This is the saber skill for you. This saber skill, it's much better than the falling flower fist that my father taught me. It's not even the same concept, it contains the ideal of the world, turns complexity into simplicity, I feel like no one will be able to stop it if I were to use it. Thank you Teacher Lu for the gift. I have to defeat that woman, help Teacher Lu earn the reputation that he truly deserves. Do you think that this Teacher Lu is really as powerful as they said, being able to make people improve with just some advice? It must be if everyone is saying the same thing. You know Mu Xueqing's temper, being able to make her listen. Not to mention going against Master Zhang's students, this teacher Lu must have some tricks up his sleeves. I really want to see if it's really true. I don't believe that in this academy, there's someone that's superior than teacher Bai in terms of teaching. Isn't that the princess? I'm Moyu from Tianwu Kingdom. I came here to meet teacher Lu Cheng. Teacher Lu, he's. Why are you here? Is there anything you want from me? Teacher Lu Cheng, I'm Moyu from Tianwu Kingdom. My father is waiting outside, he's hoping that he could meet Teacher Lu for once. Father, King Emo Tianxue from your kingdom. Your father, why does his majesty want to meet me? I still have something else to attend to, I don't have the time right now. My father came here personally, I don't think it's a good idea to reject it. Teacher Lu. That's the king from Tianwu Kingdom. But I'm really busy. I guess this is the guild leader Lu. Father. Guild leader Lu solved all 19 questions from the wall, shocking the entire world. I've been admiring you ever since. I just happened to pass by this place today. I want to invite the guild leader to the palace. I also want to take this chance to deepen our bonds. The palace. I still need to head over to the alchemist guild to look for the medicine that contains aura. Then go back and teach Xiaoya some combat skills. I really don't have time to visit the palace. I'm sorry, I still need to head over to the Alchemist Guild. I might not have the time to do so, but I appreciate the gratitude. 
As expected from Guild Leader Lu, he's really a busy man. Since Guild Leader Lu is busy, I will not delay you any longer. Xiaoyu, go get the things. Yes. This is my gratitude to you, please accept it. This is. What can a stone like this even do? Stone. Father. That's a spiritual stone. A rare material that's really unique even in the titled kingdoms. It's mined from places where auras are most condensed. Every piece of it is precious in its own way, and it's hard to come by. It's a treasure that people will use it to train with. This spiritual stone can only be found among the higher-ups, with some terrifying prices. Even two star physicians won't even be able to get one even if they want to. Spiritual stones. A mineral that's condensed with aura. The rich aura within it can be used to train, while also can be used to replenish the lack of aura in the atmosphere. You. It's fine, Xiaoyu. I guess Guild Leader Lu is just joking. How can someone like Guild Leader Lu don't know anything about spiritual stones? I'm just joking. How can I not know about spiritual stones? Thanks a lot. I was just planning to find medicine that's rich in aura. Why would I even head to the Alchemist Guild now that I have this thing? I can just absorb the aura within it and break through the Zongshir Pinnacle. I won't just have your thing for free. How about this? I'll heal your disease once for free. I think I might really need some help from Guild Leader Lu to heal. Then try throwing a punch. A punch. I'm not the one that needs healing. It's, how about this? If Guild Leader Lu is free right now, do you mind heading to the palace for a bit? I still have some business to attend to. I'll head over once I'm done with it. That works as well. Xiaoyu, didn't Guild Leader Lu say that he's heading over to the Alchemist Guild? You can go with him, since you're a two-star alchemist as well. You're familiar with that place. Both of you are geniuses as well. You can take this opportunity to know each other. Try and learn a thing or two. Yes. You don't have to go with me. Don't have to. Isn't the guild leader heading to the alchemist guild? My daughter isn't the best among them, but her words still carry some weight in there. Let her go with you. At least she can help you save a lot of trouble when it comes to buying medicine and stuff. I just remembered I have something else to do. I won't be heading to the alchemist guild. I'll be excusing myself. I will head over to the palace once I'm done here. You have something else to do. You're not going. Father has already put it in such an obvious way, and this guy actually rejected him. It's fine if he rejected, but he clearly said that he was about to go to the Alchemist Guild. After hearing that I will be going with him, he immediately said that he's not going. What do you mean by that? All right, excuse me. Father, this man is so impolite. It's normal for those that are born a genius to be this impolite. I remember you once said that Master Zhang was even more impolite. Master Zhang has the skill. What does he even have that can compete with him? That's not it. This guild leader Lu, not only that his medical skills are good, his education skills are also top-notch. Take a look at this. This is. All his students improved significantly just from him giving some guidance for one day. He even cleared the pill poison on Mu Xueqing easily. Yeah, if he isn't that impressive, why would I want you to get closer to him? Also, keep reading it. There's something even more interesting. It even stated that Master Zhang's student Zhao Ya ended with a tie against his student Mu Xueqing. They even planned for a rematch two days later. Yeah, if Mu Xueqing were to win this duel, that means this teacher Lu is much more terrifying than Master Zhang when it comes to teaching. Even if this person wasn't a star teacher, he will definitely be the country's support. Imagine this, if he were to give lessons to the army, how big of an impact will it be? This guild leader Lu, his medical and educational skills are exceptional, even though he's far from Master Zhang when it comes to medicine refinement and beast taming, he's still not that weak. Nothing will go wrong if you are friends with him, but you still have to work on Master Zhang's side of. If he's able to put in some words for you, no matter how strong Imo Hong he is, it will never affect your status. Yes. But if we need to get along with these two people, are we supposed to stop the duel between Mu Xueqing and Xiao Ya? Why are we stopping it? Not only we're not stopping it, we need to spread the news as well, let everyone know about it, causing more chaos. With this, we will be able to increase Guild Leader Lu's reputation, so that he will be favored by the public. 
It's obvious that he wanted to make a name for himself by not stopping the duel between Mu Xueqing and Xiaoya. If that's the case, let us help him a bit. That's right, no matter who wins, both of them tied once before, which means that the lessons that guild leader Lu delivers ain't worse than Master Zhang's. I must come and watch the duel in two days. Sir, you're back again. Again. Yeah, go and get Xiaoya over here. This sword skill, I will be giving it to you, no matter who you're fighting against in two days, I hope that you will be able to win. Don't let all of us be disappointed. Don't worry principal, I will live up to your expectations. Good, if there's anything that you don't understand about the sword skill, feel free to ask me. Understood. Sir, Master Jiang requests to meet you. Jiang Xu. Xiao Chang, let him in. Xiao Ya, you can go ahead and train first. If there's anything that you don't understand, you can ask me when I get back. Understood. How can I forget about this? I've been acting with my own identity, I forgot about the one that I should pretend to be. Zhang Xian is just a one star instructor, he doesn't have the right to enter the two star instructor library to have a look, but it will be so much easier if I just enter as Master Yang. It won't be a huge problem if I just request it. Master Jiang probably won't stop me. Pleasure to meet you. Do we have any documents or introductions on Master Kong in our instructor guild? Master Kong. There are indeed some records on Master Kong in the two star library, but they aren't that detailed. All right, go and show it to me. Yes. A contagenal toxin, even though it doesn't bring much impact to me now, but it limits my lifespan. The earlier I get rid of it the better. Instructor Library Teacher, this is my token, you can have this so that it will be more convenient when you're in there. I'll be excusing myself so that I won't interrupt you then. Alright, that's good, thank you. A moment later. Alright, I've gathered all of it. Master Kong. Alright, it's here. Let's see if there's any way to cure the contagenal toxin. Master Kong, born with exceptional aura. Not only that this Master Kong has a huge potential, he also worked hard in his training, he even risked his own life, diving into oceans, running across the wildlands, going into mine shafts just to increase his strength. He achieved 9 star instructor when he's below 30 years old. Once he reached that level, his training seems to have slowed down, then he started to teach the world, founded the instructor guild, standardized the entire continent. What he's doing is still legendary as ever but it's obviously much different from the hard work that he had done before. Hold on, something's not right. Could it be that, reaching 9 star instructor is the key to curing the contagenal toxin? After reaching 9 star instructor, not only their spirit power will be much stronger, even their physical strength will have reached a much terrifying level. Could it be a joke that I need to reach that level in order to cure the contagenal toxin? No, I must give it a try. Achieving 9 star instructor will be able to cure the toxin. That's right. There will not be an error on these books, which means, this is real. I can only cure the contagenal toxin if I become a 9 star instructor, which also means, I will have to be a 9 star instructor, before the age of 30. Oh god, why do you have to do me like this? My disciples have all kinds of diseases and problems, for someone like Xiaoya, Yuan Tao. They all became really strong once they get through it, their strength literally just skyrocketed. But for me, not only that my contagenal toxin will kill me if I don't cure it, I'm forced to become a 9 star instructor before the age of 30. What kind of dumb setting is this? 9 star instructor, that's the title of the strongest that can shake the entire land with just one step. Who knows how many years the current ones have lived, but for me to become one before 30, even though training will be much easier with the Library of Heaven's Path, where can I find so much spiritual aura? What's more important is, where can I find all the secret scrolls to make Heaven's skill? The contagenal toxin. There should be other ways to cure it other than becoming a 9 star instructor. Instructor Guild Library. Never mind. I'll head back and start training for now. There's still a long way to go from 30 years old. I don't have to worry about it just yet. Did I use up all of it? Is that it? I thought that with this spiritual stone, it will be able to help me reach Zongshir Pinnacle without a problem. 
I guess, everything is just part of my imagination. Where else can I find a spiritual stone? That's right, didn't his majesty want me to go and cure a disease? If there's no other way, I will have to get another two of those from him. Tianmu Palace, Backyard. Greetings Princess Qianxue. Stand up, Envoy Ranmu. Kingdom Qianquan Envoy Ranmu. Kingdom Qianquan Prince Feishuan. Our Prince Feishuan came all the way here personally just to arrange a marriage with Princess Moyu. Once Qian Wu and Kingdom Qian Kuen get together, we will be helping each other, the other countries will not dare do anything to us. Envoy Ranmu don't rush it, Mo Yu is my most beloved child, we can discuss marriage later, it's not a rush. Your Majesty, you've been saying that multiple times, this time the prince came along with me just to make sure you make a decision out of it. I heard that something happened to the mascot in your country, and you've been trapping it with a spell. I wonder if something like this really happened. Envoy, what do you mean by that? If the kingdom Chenkuin is able to know about this, other kingdoms will know about it as well eventually. If your majesty were to agree to the marriage, I will be gifting a spiritual beast herb, I think there isn't a single beast that will reject this thing. The spiritual beast herb, it's a herb that grows on a land rich of spiritual aura, every spiritual beasts will definitely love it. The price of this spiritual beast herb is definitely not lower than the spiritual stone. But, I raised Moyu to be the future ruler of a kingdom, how can I just give her away just for some spiritual beast herb? Father, since he's proposing a marriage to me, do I have a saying in this? Go ahead. I'm actually quite simple, I'm personally okay with the people proposing marriages to me, but... You know that I'm a beast tamer, my beast doesn't really have a good temper. Once it finds out that someone is getting near to it, it will start to act up. If Prince Feishuan is able to win against my beast, it's fine for me to agree to the marriage. Win against your beast? Do you really mean that? Of course. Ironback Golden Winged Hawk. I'm not a beast tamer, but I still have some knowledge on beasts. These beasts are among the stronger winged beasts. But it was always limited by their talent. Their strength will only be at pinnacle Tongxian at most. So can I take your word for it princess, you'll agree to my proposal once I win against this ironback golden winged hawk. Of course you can take a country's princess word for it. But, if you lose, please leave this place immediately. That's true, if I can't even win against a pet beast, how will I be able to marry a princess? Your highness. Xiaoyu, don't you think you overdid it? Not really he's the one that agrees to it. Better be careful. Don't worry, it's just an ironback golden winged hawk, it's nothing much. An adult ironback golden winged hawk can only be a pinnacle Tongxian at most. I'll finish you immediately. Hold on, what the hell is this thing? This pet beast is a half, half Zongshir. Hold on. This battle. I. Your Highness. Okay, you lost. You're using tricks. An ironback golden winged hawk can only be pinnacle Tongxian at most due to their bloodline. How can this be a half Zongshir? Your Highness. A loss is a loss. What is it? A prince wants to go against his words. I did say that I will be giving up the marriage once I get defeated, but now I can't even take two hits from it. I. Damn. What's happening here? Your Highness, take this medicine quickly. Your Majesty, Teacher Lu from Tianmu Academy requests to meet you. Teacher Lu, please, please hurry. Yes. Xiaoyu, you will have to be careful. Build a good relationship with Teacher Lu. Don't be so stubborn. He's the best person that I have my eyes on. Best person. No wonder King Tianxue keeps giving me uncertain answers. It seems like he already found a suitable person in Tianwu Kingdom. I want to have a look at how good he is, being able to make his majesty act like this. Teacher Lu, this way. Beginner Tongxian. I thought he would be someone impressive, but he's just a beginner Tongxian. These people are considered quite strong in small places like Tianxian Kingdom, but they're quite common in Tier 1 Kingdoms. Hi, your majesty. Hi. What is he doing? Shouldn't we be greeting the king formally, even if it's not the gentleman's greeting, shouldn't he still be greeting his elders formally? This guy, 
Why is he greeting in such a weird way? Something's not right, Tianwu Kingdom, the three main families, countless chancellors. But why have I never thought of a person among them that is named Lu? We were able to look into the information about the beast in Tianwu Kingdom being sick, and we also knew about the forces within the kingdom, so we are quite knowledgeable when it comes to the kingdom, but I have never heard of any person in one of the forces with the name Lu. Who exactly is this person? I've waited for you long enough teacher Lu, I thought you would be here yesterday already, but you ended up coming today. I'm sorry, something came up yesterday. I told you yesterday, I can help you cure a disease, if anyone has a disease, please get him here. Why are you looking at me when you're looking for a sick person? Teacher Lu is it? I'm the second prince of Chinkuan Kingdom, Prince Feishuan, I came all the way here personally to propose a marriage to Princess Moyu. If you're the person that His Majesty and the Princess have chosen, do you dare to accept a challenge from me? The chosen person, what the hell? Just propose your marriage, I'll just cure my disease. Why are you suddenly challenging me? The brain of this guy. Could it be that Imo Tianxue invited me here to have a look at him? This person has been spouting nonsense ever since I got here, I guess he's the patient. Yeah, mental illness. I think it's harder to cure it than physical illness, I guess I can use this opportunity to point out the problem and blackmail a bit, see if I can get a few more spiritual stones. Your majesty, this patient is quite sick. There's something wrong with his brain, it's a kind of mental illness, it will be much more complex than curing normal diseases, I think it might require extra work. You're the one that's sick, your entire family is sick. Nonsense. Our prince has always been healthy. What are you talking about? Healthy. Then, could it be that you're the one that's sick? You're the one that's sick. Your Majesty, is this how Tianwu Kingdom treats their guests? Our prince, even though he won't be taking over the throne, he's still quite respectable in status. He's the one that is beloved by the king. Are you trying to challenge us by having a random person to mock me? Please don't be angry Envoy Ranmu. I personally invited Teacher Lu over to cure a disease. He just didn't know you too, and he didn't mean it, so please forgive him. Teacher Lu, both of them are the kingdom's guests, they're not patients. If he's not a patient, why doesn't he make any sense? It seems like this so-called Chenkuan kingdom ain't such a big deal after all, having a person like this to be a prince. Why are you looking at me again? As a prince, I should be respectful to everyone, being the person that everyone idolizes, so do I even need your sympathy. And don't use that, something's wrong with your brain, look at me, bastard. No wonder this person can make me so angry, the way he irritates people is just too good. He's able to make that calm Prince Feishuan so angry that he even wants to kill people, this is just too entertaining. Do you still dare to accept my challenge? If you don't then just say it, stop finding excuses. This guy just keeps asking for a duel. I'm just here to cure disease and earn some spiritual stones, I don't even want to fight you for the woman, why are you challenging me? A challenge, a challenge of what? It's simple, Princess Moyu already said it herself, if you want her to accept your proposal, you will first have to defeat her pet beast, if you can defeat it, I will admit my defeat, do you dare to accept it? I just got knocked away by that ironback golden winged hawk and you just showed up, of course I will not let you get away that easily. Since Princess Moyu is the one that sets the rules, if you can't make it through as well, I will have to see what kind of answer will Mo Tianxue give me. Defeat the beast. That's right, if you don't dare to accept it, I will advise you to stop coming for Princess Moyu ever again, she won't be interested in a coward like you. Teacher Lu, at least look at the person when they're talking. This guy, is actually ignoring his highness. This guy. That's right, isn't he some kind of a prince? Then he should, at least have spiritual stones. It wouldn't take much for me to defeat this beast, but, if you want to challenge me, you should at least have some wager right. Wager? The loser will lose the right to go for Princess Moyu, isn't that the wager? How about this, we're both friars, so spiritual stones will be important to us. If I can defeat this beast, you will have to give me a spiritual stone. If I can't do it, then I'll give you one. Do you want to do it? Spiritual stone. That thing is so precious that even I only have one. 
and it was given by father to help me on getting past half Zongshir, but because I didn't get enough training, I didn't want to use it. Using it as a wager. What's wrong? You're scared. It's fine if you don't dare to. I'm not interested in defeating some beasts anyway. You. Why would I be scared? Let's do it. Your Highness. The spiritual stone. It's a rare item even among the royal family of Chinkuan Kingdom. Your father gifted one to you because he cared for you. Using it as a wager, wouldn't it be too much? Relax. He's just bluffing. I don't believe that a mere beginner Tong Xian will be able to win against a half Zongshir beast. Normally not even four to five pinnacle Tong Xian will be able to win against a half Zongshir, not to mention he's just a beginner. If he really were to fight it, he would get killed instantly. Please, Princess Moyu, I hope you won't be holding back as well. Don't blame me for not going along with the rules you made. Teacher Lu, you have to think clearly. This ironback golden-winged hawk of mine is already a half Zongshir. If the half Zongshir ironback golden-winged hawk were to do it, as a beginner Tongxian, he wouldn't be able to take it. But father wanted me to build a good relationship with him, but if my pet were to injure him, you just accepted it that easily when I was fighting against the ironback golden-winged hawk. But why are you hesitating when it comes to him? I accepted the bet. Going against it will mean that you have lost. Princess Moyu also wouldn't want this teacher Lu to just lose like that before the fight even started. Thanks for the reminder princess. Half Zongshir it is. I will fight this ironback golden-winged hawk. But let me ask something. How do you define defeat? Defeating it means making it don't dare to fight back. Then I know what to do. Come on, let me give you a beating, just until you don't dare to fight back. He's dead. I almost died without provoking it. Isn't he just asking for his death for provoking it? Does it want another beating? This guy actually recognized me. Is it because it's in half Zongshir now? But it's fine. It doesn't know how to speak yet. This. See. It doesn't dare to fight me. So I guess it's my win. You. What is this? Making a show. You obviously know Princess Moyu for a long time already. Golden Winged Hawk obviously knows you. That's why it doesn't dare to fight you. You're cheating. The Ironback Golden Winged Hawk knows this Teacher Lu. Impossible. This is definitely the first time it met Teacher Lu. There's no way they met each. Irritating talks. Exceptional talents. Excellent medical skills. Expert in disguise. And is also close to the Ironback Golden Winged Hawk. Why didn't I think of this before? I placed too much trust on the information that the instructor guild and father gave, and when I saw met this teacher Lu personally, I found out that he's not that alike to that person, so I didn't suspect much. Others might not know about it, but I know it pretty well myself. That person is also excellent in medical skills, he has shown plenty of it in Honglian City. Alright, that's enough. No wonder there's two super geniuses popping out of nowhere in Tianwu Kingdom at the same time. They're actually, the same person. Go, step aside. You wanted to bet just now, I didn't force you into it. Could it be that you don't want to let go of that spiritual stone, and don't want to admit defeat, can't even let go of a spiritual stone, what a stingy person. You. Being told to the face that I'm stingy and doesn't want to admit defeat. It's my loss, I'm a man of my word. But, Lu, since you won me once already, do you dare to bet again? with the same spiritual stone as wager. Bet what? It's simple. It's fine that you don't admit that you won by cheating. Do you dare to have a fair fight? Fair fight. I don't mind doing that. But, do you have a wager? If you don't have a spiritual stone, then I'll pass. I only have one spiritual stone, which is the one on my hand. Then you can forget about it. I still have other things to attend to. I don't have a second spiritual stone but I do have something else that is as precious. Your Highness. That herb is extremely useful against wild beasts, if we aren't able to get this marriage. And if it falls into the hands of the Tianwu Kingdom, it will be a disaster. If I don't take my revenge, how will I be able to face my people? And if the news were to spread, do you think I will still have the face to be a prince and be loved by the king? How is it? Do you dare to accept it? What is that? This is a spiritual beast herb, it's a couple of centuries old, 
priceless and valuable as a spiritual stone, maybe even better than that. I'm now using this as a wager to win that spiritual stone of yours, do you accept it? Spiritual beast herb, this, even though it's valuable, I have no need for that, I just need spiritual stones, if you have one then I'll accept your challenge. And that herb is only useful on wild beasts, even though the spiritual aura within is sufficient, but I can't absorb it, to be honest, even if I were to win it over, it would only be a waste. King Tianxue, is it possible for me to trade this spiritual beast herb of mine for two spiritual stones? Spiritual beast herbs are extremely valuable, of course you can. You heard him, you can trade this spiritual beast herb for two spiritual stones, if I lose this fight, you can just use it to trade it with King Tianxue. If I win, not only do I want you to return me the spiritual stone that you just won over, you also need to give me an extra one. You, do you dare to accept this challenge? This thing can be used to trade for two spiritual stones. Deal. I was just wondering where to find spiritual stones, and this guy just came to me on his own. What a nice guy. This person is a Zongshu Realm Elite, and he's even a two-star instructor. A Zongshu Pinnacle like you, trying to challenge a two-star instructor. And if the news were to spread, do you think I will still have the face to be a prince and be loved by the king? Relax, just sit back and watch. Since you've accepted it, let's begin straight away. I don't have much time, let's not find somewhere else, we can just settle it here. Don't blame me if you die from this. But, what kind of skill should I use so that I can teach this guy a lesson while not exposing my true strength? Watch this. Ironback Golden Winged Hawk, what are you doing? Why are you interrupting my fight against Prince Feishuan? Moreover, even if you want to step in, you should wait until I finish it, can't you see I'm trying to earn spiritual stones over here, if you dare to stop me from earning money, I will roast you and eat you up. You dumb bastard. Watch it next time, don't be so irrational, only do it when you understand what I meant. If you want to lecture this beast, can you at least let it get off? If it keeps crushing me like this, I think I'll be dead before you even finish. Your Highness. Don't push your luck. Let the prince go. Envoy, what are you trying to do? The royal assassin. This. We were relying on Zongshu Pinnacle before, so we weren't paying attention to this Tianwu kingdom. We thought that even if we were to run into some danger, we will be able to break ourselves out with our strength. But right now, the seemingly peaceful kingdom right before our eyes, it seems like they have been hiding all kinds of elites in the shadows. Ironback Golden Winged Hawk, stop right there, get back here right now. Damn it. I just want to save the prince. I hope that King Tianxue will forgive me for my rudeness. How can you just interrupt other people's duels like that? Do you know that it's really rude to do that? Your Highness. Causing trouble. We agreed on a fair fight, but you had a beast to attack me. This. Actually, I didn't order it to do that. You. How about this? I'll get it to leave this place. Then we'll fight fair and square. I'll make sure that thing won't intervene again. It's not about intervening, now that I'm injured, you want to fight me. And you say it's, fair. His highness is injured now, we're calling the duel off. Calling it off, that won't do, right. It's just a small wound, hold on, let me heal him right now. What are you trying to do? I just want to heal him, relax, it will only take a while for a small wound like this. Heal me. Prince Feishuan, Envoy Ranmu, please calm down. Teacher Lu is the guild leader of Tianwu Kingdom's physician guild that we just appointed, his medical skills are top of the world, if he says he can heal him, it will not be a problem. Guild leader of the physician guild. We didn't hear about the news of the physician guild having a new guild leader. He's a medical zongshir that simultaneously solved all the 19 questions on the question wall, he can cure all kinds of disease easily, that little wound of yours is nothing to him. It's just a small wound, don't worry. This. Don't worry envoy, if guild leader Lu said that, it won't take long for him to completely heal the wounds on the prince. Alright then. The wounds on his highness, although it didn't affect the core, but it's still quite serious, I will watch how guild leader Lu will be able to heal him that quickly.
Shit, what are you doing? Is that top of the world medical skill to you? Stop right there. I wasn't sure before, but seeing him slap Prince Feishuan, I can confirm that this guild leader Liu is definitely Zhang Xian. Don't worry envoy, watch until the end. This. You, what are you trying to do? I dare you to fight me fair and square, don't even think about something like ambushing. Your Highness. Your wounds. Wounds. This. The injuries from before, it's completely healed already. Yeah, it's only a small wound. Now that your wounds have healed, can we have a fair fight? This. Even though this person is really irritating, he's able to heal my wounds easily. Such extraordinary medical skills, it's quite shocking. And with this skill level, his strength will not be weaker than mine. I think it will be best for me to not go against him. Guild leader Liu excels in medical skills. It was me that didn't know who you are. If I had offended you, please forgive me. About the duel, it was me that's irrational. Please forget about it. No can do. That's two spiritual stones right there. You wouldn't want me to take it by force if we don't fight right. I didn't know that teacher Liu is the guild leader for the physician guild. Your medical skills are really impressive. If I knew about it, I wouldn't have proposed the duel, I would have just admitted my defeat. Admit your defeat, then don't mind if I do, I'll take that spiritual beast herb over. I was just saying that out of formality to save my reputation, why would I just surrender like that? As a physician guild guild leader, Zongshir in medicine, don't you feel shameless? I'll be taking this herb, luckily the prince is generous enough to surrender, it makes me feel bad about it. Generous, feel bad. You already took my herb, what do you mean by generous? You say you feel bad, but I don't see it, why are you smiling over there? I've met quite some shameless people, but I've never met someone as shameless as him.